Welcome back. I'm Monica from LA Parks. Today, I'm with Channel 35 and I'll be teaching another AMRAP challenge. As many rounds you can possibly do. So I will walk you through the five exercises and then we'll begin. As far as equipment goes, what you'll need is your resistance bands, a fitness ball, your sliders, water and a towel. Let's get started with hamstring curls. Now, if you do not have resistance bands, you can use your dumbbells. Same thing with that fitness ball. You can use a single weight or no equipment at all. Switching up this hamstring curl, cardio butt kicks, 20 seconds, jog it out. So our goal for today, you're gonna pick either 10 or 15 reps. Commit to that number, going through five exercises, as many rounds as possible, yes. Wide your leg stance, come all the way down, reach up nice and tall. Cleansing breath, sit into it, really opening up. So we have bicep curls, core, as we rock our sliders with the pike, bridges, single leg, triceps, and squat jacks with that fitness ball. Last few seconds, side to side, step touch here. Full body warm up, a little bit more focus. Glutes up, yes. Widen your leg stance, reach it up. Side to side, yes. Really opening up here. We're gonna take it across the chest on four. Breathe. Last two, add that heel, yes. Adding that rotation, warming up your abdominals, your core right here, yes. Racing to that core. As you bring the arm across the body, chest, you have 10 more seconds here. You wanna exhale to the mouth. Drive that knee into the chest, alternate here. Three steps back, yes. Really opening up. Final 20 seconds on this move. Taking your time. Five minute warm up. 20 minutes of work for the AMRAC push. Wrapping up the last few minutes of our workout to stretch. Good job. Take it nice and wide. Toes, knees forward. Sit into that side lunge. Lengthen and reach. Keep it up. We're gonna go into a cat cow. In 20 seconds, checking in. Toes, knees forward, yes. Get ready, ready. Sit, lengthen and reach. Using your glutes, your butts. And abs to stand. Here's four. Three. Last two. Good job. Bring it in. Arms, legs, shake it out. So if you need to roll out your mat or towel for this one, please do so. Stacking the shoulders. Wrist, knees underneath the hips. Head and neck in line with the spine. Round and release. Release. And arch, yes. Feel free to pause if you need to, yes. Last few here. Good job, sit on back. Carefully come on up. So since I'm big on movement, start with the light jog, march. You might wanna jump rope. I'm gonna walk through the five exercises with you and then we'll begin. So uh, yes, I'm starting off with biceps. I'm going to be using my bands today, not my dumbbells, but you're welcome to switch if you need to. Challenge to you is consistency. Stay consistent with your reps, 10 or 15. You're gonna come all the way up, all the way down. Check in. Notice how my wrist is straight. Elbows are nice and close to the body. Bend those knees, tuck that tailbone under. 
So does your lax and roll back. How many reps? You got it. 10 or 15, yes? Second movement, we're going to pike. Sliders if you have them, paper towels, paper plates, socks, depending on your floor. Wheel work. So all it is is just a capital V, yes? Strong plank. Capital V. Same deal. What am I looking for? 10 or 15. Sliders off to the side. Onto your back. Now with this one, you may want to switch it up in terms of adding that medicine ball or dumbbell. That knee, ankle is aligned. Arms relaxed unless you're holding onto your weight. You're gonna rock out full range. Really acknowledge that core. Come up 15 or 10 on each side, yes? Keyword, carefully come up. Ooh, we're back on that band. Straight back and up. Yes, we're gonna channel in shoulders as well. Shoulders relax, go back. Wrist is straight again. Straight up. Pause at the top. Head and neck aligned with the spine. I already feel my triceps after that second rep. Same thing, 10 to 15. Fitness ball or that dumbbell. Let's do that squat deck. Pressing up. One, two, three. You got the concept, yes? All right, let's go. Biceps first. Your pace, your count. Welcome to round one. Let's get it. Breath work. Yes. Exhaling at the top. So what are you doing today? 15 reps, 10. Now can you switch it up in terms of, okay, so for the arms, biceps, I'm going to stick with 15 reps. Maybe the cardio, you want to stick with 10. Whatever it is, the pike. Stick with that rep count with that exercise, yes? Woo! Come on. Woo. Bring it back. Thanks, safety. Make sure your sliders are out of your way for when you're set up for that bridge. Pushing through, yes. The beauty of the AMRAC challenge. Set up. Let's say you'll do this exercise again three days from now, sometime next week. Your goal is to do additional rounds. So let's just say you do two and a half rounds, three and a half rounds. You're gonna take that half to a whole, maybe add another round, yes? Same quality form technique, really bracing to that core. I'm switching, how about you? Checking in, that hit is relaxed. So with these bridges, we're not going to pulse. I want full reps. Targeting the glutes a bit more as you adjust that knee and ankle, right? Make sure it's aligned. You can always play with that, but right now let's focus a bit more on the glutes versus the hamstrings with that leg further out. Strong core, abdominals included here. Woo, I'm feeling ace. Good job. You know the difference if you need to slow it down, increase that range of motion. Woo! All right. Who else is on triceps? Like Monica, I'm already on my slam ball, medicine ball, that fitness ball. Let's get it. And a nickel line with the spine. Lift.
I'm about halfway on this one. How about you? Belly button to spine. Neutral flat back. Last one. Come on. Woo. Release. Now you know you're doing it right in terms of resistance or the actual reps. That rep count. If you're struggling the last few reps, I'm going to say three to five. Yes. So we're not going to take the ball down or that weight. Just press up. Yes. Woo. Good job. All right. How are we doing? Walk it out if you need to. Tell off. Grab a drink. If you're like, Monica, I'm caffeinated and I'm ready, ready. Go right into your second round. If you are not already there, efficiency. Have your equipment set up. Access them safely yet quickly. Yes, bend those knees. Right into those curls. Check in, wrist is straight. Head and neck line with the spine, we tend to drop. Who's ready for that pike? At this point in time, you should already know, oh, that's my least favorite. Or can we slide, slide a little bit more, Monica? Don't tell me right now, but after today's workout, let me know on Facebook, because I know you shared this workout, what you would like to see more or less of. It might be we slide the whole 30 minutes, Monica? That's just insane, but if you ask for it, I'll make it work. Good job. Woo. I'm also curious, who's really rocking that 15, 15 reps? Yes, bridging with the ball, bridging with that weight. A little goes a long way, yes? I don't care which leg you start with, as long as you start, yes? Let's get it. Breath work, breathing in, X off the top. Right into it, switch, set up, and begin. Good job, woo! No, I'm not gonna count for you because we all move differently, especially when it comes to reps in terms of pace. That's why when you typically take my workout, my class, either here or via Zoom, I work off what? Time. Who has time? Let's go. Triceps, shoulders, let's work. Shoulders relax and roll back. Control. You got it, come on. Acknowledge that core, belly button to spine. Really engage, exhale on every lift, yes. Right in time for that cardio push. Definitely glute upper body focus. Great way to switch it up. Let's get it. Good job. Definitely need a quick little break. Towel off, grab a drink of water. How are we doing? Do not wait for me. Go right into your second, third round, yes? Woo. Beauty of resistance training. 
Yes. You burn now, later, and later. Now and later. Challenge those muscles. Moderate weights. Looking good. Strong core. Shoulders relax and roll back. Let's get it. Wrist is straight. Control, control. How are we doing? I heard someone say, I'm here. I get that a lot. I'm here. Okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. Right into that pike. Let's work. Bend those knees if you need to. Yes. Switching it up. Good job. Woo. Keep that pike. Keep that pike unless you have to switch. Right into those bridges. Usually, if you do not have any major injuries, you've been training for some time. You can always go a little bit heavier loading on this bridge. Wrapping up. Other side. Let's get it. Come on. Last you. Come on. And I'm also curious if you are switching it up. Some of your moves are 10 reps. Some are 15. Let me know why. Yes. Larger muscle groups. You're stronger depending on the resistance you're working with. You probably can add in five more reps. Our areas of opportunity. You may need to take it to 10, yes? Let's get it. How's your heart rate? How's your breathing? Woo. Good job. Right back on that ball or that single dumbbell. You're set. If you're rocking a little bit lighter, Rocking that press, yes. Woo. Good job. Once again, tell off, hydrate if you need to, D2. Time check, you're like, Monica, are you even looking at the time? Yes, you have about five and a half minutes, yes. Five and a half minutes remaining. Heart rate's up. Walk it a bit. Let's get it. Switching it up if you need to. Keep the elbows in. Weights out. Arms are out. Control, control. Good job. Whew. Bend off to the side, back to those sliders. Rocking the pike unless you need to switch it up, okay? The goal is to stay consistent with the exercise movements. But the beauty of fitness, if you need to switch it up for any reason, that is perfectly fine. Finish it off, right into that bridge. This is the ideal workout, short on time. 
Got 30 minutes. Yes. Almost full body. Breaking that sweat. Let's go. Woo. Who's already on their second cheek? Belly button in, yes. Raise those hips. Raise your glass. Nice work. Being mindful of that ball, making sure it doesn't roll off away. What's next? Feels like an arm day, yes. So with that jack squat, we can switch up the variation with the arms. Just give you a heads up. Tricep shoulders. Make sure that band is nice and even. And of course, begin when you're ready, ready. Relax in those shoulders once again. Checking in away from those ears, yes. Bend those knees. Neutral flat back. Good job. Woo. So instead of pushing up to the sky, I'm gonna ask that you push forward instead. A little bit more chest work. Let's go. Good job. Once again, move it around a bit, unless you're ready, ready to go right into your next round. Yes. Finishing off. I can definitely feel this might be a half somewhere. Listen to your body. Begin when you're ready, ready. Yes. Set up. Upper body nice and relaxed. Strong core. Tuck that tub and under, bend those knees. Right into it. Full range. Full reps. Woo. Slowing down a bit. That's perfectly fine. I'm asking that you just push through. Slow it down is okay, yes. Sacrificing form technique. It's a definite no for me. Yes. Rock that pike. Safe space. If you need to hold your plank instead until you see me flip over, that's okay. for that bridge. Grab that ball, grab that weight. Every bit counts. For some reason, if you need to put that weight ball to the side, that's okay. Whew. Wrapping up, let's get it. Same deal. I'm looking for full quality reps. Where are you at? Other side, yes. Let's get it as we wrap this up, come on. Control your breathing here. Breathing through your diaphragm, your core, versus shallow breathing through the lungs, yes. Really acknowledge those muscle groups. Glute focus right here. Woo. Down to your last two exercises. 
At least for me. Come on. Triceps. Dash of shoulders. Let's get it. Neutral flat back. We tend to we tend to tense up right here. Head and neck align with the spine. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Good job. Final push. We're gonna call it a day after this, yes? Pushing forward or up. Let's go. Push, yes? <laughs> Adding that jump. And time. Nice work. Walk it out, shake it out, towel off, hydrate. We'll do a little bit of walking, stretching. Make sure you're breathing. Into the nose, exhale to the mouth. Woo, well done. Opening up those hips. Alternate, three steps. Take your time. Last time here. Big step outside lunge. Really opening up here. Open up. Arch that back. Going a little bit further into that stretch at the top. Last time here. Good job. So now you're going to pick your right or left leg. I'm going to take my left leg up. Cross it over. Breathe and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Good job. All right. I need to know how many rounds you did today. Slowly roll up, roll up, roll up. Shake it out. Other side. Opposite leg. Right leg up. Cross it over. Breathe and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. So I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to... Uh, catch this replay to see how many rounds I did. Goals. Keeping the same weight, bands, reps for that particular exercise, and outdo myself maybe one more round. If I did a half somewhere, roll it up, roll up, roll up. Complete that round, yes. Deep in hell up. You're going to exit to the right or left side. Lengthen and hell up. Other side. We're going to sit nice and low. Center here. Walk your legs feet out. Now, when I say low, it's going to be your low. Deep and hell up. Coming down as far as you can, yes? Open up. You can remain still. If it feels good to move a little bit side to side, move a bit. I always highly encourage that you stretch a bit more, a little bit deeper here, a little longer. But this is that workout. Slowly roll it up. Where you get in, get out, and get fit. Thank you so much for joining me today. As usual, you, you're going to say it with me, rock.